In early October 1962, images taken by the United States Air Force U-2 aircrafts showed a ballistic missile buildup in Cuba. This was the catalyst for the Cuban Missile Crisis, and for 13 days, it would bring the world to the brink of nuclear war. The United States arrived at the decision for an arms blockade after studying reconnaissance photographs made with high-powered cameras from planes flying several miles from the Cuban coast. Suddenly, the veil is torn from the Russian secrets. Analysts from the National Photographic Interpretation Center, a predecessor to the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, raised red flags and confirmed that the Soviet Union was placing offensive weapons in Cuba. This is a result of the photography taken somewhere, sir. There's a medium-range ballistic missile launch site and two new military encampments on the southern edge of that. How far advanced is this? Uh, sir, we've never seen this kind of an installation before. The imagery provided vital intelligence that shaped President Kennedy's and other policymakers' understanding of the threat and armed them with crucial details. Good evening, my fellow citizens. This government, as promised, has maintained the closest surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. The purpose of these bases can be none other than to provide a nuclear strike capability against the Western Hemisphere. The Cuban Missile Crisis was one of the earliest and most known ways geospatial intelligence gave context to policymakers and it provided ground truth for the world.